Your relationship with Sebastian Vettel, it's, it's a very special one, right? And a lot of YouTube videos have gone viral. And there's that, I suppose, you can interpret it as cheeky teenage schoolboy approach where, uh, you know, he might say something that you could interpret as being borderline flirtatious. And for me, I take that in very good fun. You seem to take it in very good fun as well. Um, is, is that how it is? Yeah. Yeah, because when you know somebody away from the cameras as well, it means that when the cameras are on, it just becomes a bit of a, you know, it's an open season. Um, we have done, I always say this to people, but nobody ever remembers them. We, ha we have done some really good, big, important interviews, yeah. but people yeah. remember the ones where he gave out my phone number or, you know, <laughs> going on about a red dress and there never was a red dress, but he knows exactly what he's doing. He loves a bit of chaos, especially, at, you know, when he was winning day in, day out, he had to find something to sort of give himself a little sort of bit of amusement. Otherwise you're asking the same questions every single day. You're answering the same questions every single day. So that's mm. really when it started. Um, but yeah, we get on great. You know, we, I get on great with his family as well. It's it's lovely to see them, and he will be sorely missed. Yeah, if that's if that's someone else that you don't know, and I think unfortunately in society today, people don't know how to read the room a lot of the time, right? And you might see something on social media about this, and next thing is like, how dare he and all that. That that kind of troubles me a little bit. And I think in the last couple of years since COVID, that's something that has really raised and reared its ugly head at times. Um, yeah. Would that would that be a particular frustration for you, or or would you go along with that? Like maybe if that was said, just say now, um, would that be interpreted differently? Do you think? I don't know. People have mentioned it before, and I've always gone back and said to them, "You've got to understand." If I was uncomfortable with something, that's for me to say. That's not for yeah. other people to judge. I think that's the same in all walks of life. Um, you've got to know the person a hundred percent.